And for y'all that think that 30 is old, let me remind you. Look how the girls look. <laughs> oh, where? Oh, where? Okay. Yeah, stop playing. Uh-huh. Take it out loud. I must have a quarter million on me right now. Hard to make a song about something other than the money. Two things I'm about to talk and blunt and stay and blunt and pretty women. Now you're here. Are you here right now, huh? We should all disappear right now. Look, you're getting all your friends and you're getting in the car and you're coming to the house. I'll be clear right now, huh? You see the fleet, all the new things. Cop cars with the loose chains. All white like a mood things. Niggas see me rolling and they mood change. Like a motherfucker. New floor, got a dozen of them. I don't trust you, you are undercover. I could probably make some steps since fuck each other. Woo. Talking fillets with your truffle butter. Fresh sheets and towels, but you gotta love it. They all get what they desire from it. What? Tell them niggas we ain't hiding from it. Yo, thinking out loud. I must have about a million on me right now. And I ain't talking about that little Wayne record. I'm still a highest selling female rapper for the record. Man, this is 65 million single soul. I ain't gotta compete with a single soul. I'm good with the ballpoint game finger roll. Ask me how to do it, I don't tell a single soul. Pretty women, what's up? Is your hair right now? You a stand up or is you in your chair right now? Uh. Do you hear me? I can't let a whack nigga get near me. I might kiss the baddest bitch if you damn it. I ain't never need a man to take care of me. Yo, I'm in that big boy. Bitches can't rent this. Of course, every day, but I ain't a dentist. Your whole style and approach, I invented. And I ain't taking that back, cause I meant it. I look so crazy because I just let them grow yeah. out. Hey, Miss Girl, it's your girl, Jim, and welcome back. Yo, mm -hmm. your girl is back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you new here, don't forget to subscribe for the vibes, girl, because, yeah, you could be gang and be a part of the girls, you know. But anywho, as you can see by the title, this is going to be my birthday maintenance vlog. I just got my brows done, y'all. These brows was hit, but I always let my brows grow out because I have like thin brows and I just be wanting them to look thick and full naturally, you know. So I just got my brows done by my girl Sammy and right now I'm at Dillard's. I'm about to go um, try on these Steve Madden heels just to make sure before I order the two pair I want to order online just to make sure I order the right size. I don't know if I want to get a six or a six and a half because for some reason, Steve Madden, they make their shoes for the narrow feet girls, okay? The shoe be like this. My toes like this, girl. The shoe be like, like, girl, cutting off my circulation. So I looked at my Steve Madden shoes I have, and it's like I always size up. All my heels is a six and a half in Steve Madden, but it's not because I can't fit the six. It's because I size up so it could be a little wider, but, girl, by the end of the night, my circulation still be cut off. But anywho, yes, I was missing in action, and I want to make sure I address that here on my channel. I haven't posted in a few weeks because, y'all, my birthday is coming up. And, you know, to keep up your YouTube channel, you got to spend money. You got to do stuff. You got to go out. You got to buy things. And so I was like, I need to save all my coin for my birthday trip and for my birthday dinner. And it's not going to be nothing too big and fancy. I'm just going to a place that I love and hope that I can move to one day like I'm so excited that I'm going here for my birthday this is my first time ever like how many times that I went to this city y'all and it is in the United States I'm not going out the country how many times I stayed in this city I never went for my birthday so I'm just about to max and relax this is basically like a prep with me maintenance vlog type thing because I'm also gonna pack for my trip as well in this vlog i think but yeah y'all and later today so this is the only thing i'm doing today for maintenance was my eyebrows and oh yeah by the way this is not my hairstyle um so one of my hairstylists hit me up to do this style on me for content and i'm so in love with this i got this done um like in houston a few years ago and i loved it and when she was like she wanted to do this style on me I was like, yes, let's do it, my girl. Now, I did say one of my hairstylists, because I have three hairstylists. I have my braider. I have the girl that do my natural hair. And I also have uh, Martasia, the girl that did this. And she do my weave styles, like my quick weaves, my half up, half downs, my silly ponytails and buns and things like that. Martasia does that. Now, anything dealing with braids, my girl Gita does that. And uh, my natural hair, I now go to Lex Creations. 
Um, I used to go to Leslie, but girl, you know, Leslie got that old school feel going. She got a little shop salon, but girl, the girls is booked and busy, honey. Leslie got that old school clientele to where you be up in there. They begin a perm, girl. They begin their roller wraps and the girls, they, they go every two weeks. They go every two weeks, honey. I can never get in with Leslie. Every time I go to that site, honey, it's booked up. I just need somebody that'll work with me or have availability when I get off of work and stuff like that. And, like, it's right now it's 548. I get off of work at 430. Like, I need to be able to see in your chat at 5. And I have to worry about, you know, booking a month in advance. Because I don't know in a month in advance if I want to do my hair. Like, I may know two weeks in advance, but not a month. Okay, so... But, like, when it's your birthday, you know, you know, but I still, when Marteja opened her books up Sunday, I still don't know what I want to get. But, yeah, y'all, so, I just want to give her her flowers because, girl, you're doing your big one. And for people that invest in themselves and, you know, like, she's doing free hairstyles for, like, her customers, like, that she's choosing for this content. But that's still investing in yourself because you putting this content out there, even though people may be not booking these styles but you are giving out these free hairstyles for content and going to these classes and things like that and i just want to wish her the best and i hope everything that she's praying and wishing on comes to her because honey the girl can slay okay and she do good like wigs and things like that now i don't wear wigs and stuff so that's why i do like a lot of leave out or half up half down in ponytail styles but my girl does it honey and just go check her out and I just want to thank her because, yeah, your girl got a little dude to come on YouTube because I was going to be looking a hot mess. But when her books open Sunday, I'm going to schedule, um, I'm going to schedule to do a quick weave for my trip. And I think I want to do a different hairstyle for my birthday. And y'all, I be keeping in quick weaves like three days and I had to get out of that. I try to keep it in for a week, but I can't keep like weave and stuff like this. This is about to come out. I can't keep that stuff in my hair for long, like a week. I can make it stretch a week sometimes. But that's about it. So the only thing is with this quick weave, I don't know if I want to change my hair for my birthday. Marteja telling me to do this other style and change it. So I may do two styles for my birthday. But yeah, right now, we're just going to just get ready for the trip. We're going to focus on the trip, girl. I still need to brainstorm what I'm going to do uh, for my birthday, like the day of, for my little birthday dinner or whatever. But yeah, girl, your girl is turning 30. If you didn't know, yes, I was born in 1993, okay? And for y'all that think that 30 is old, let me remind you. Look how the girls look. <laughs> oh, where? Old oh, where? Okay? Yeah, stop playing. I thought 30 was old, girl. And just to say that I'm turning 30 is crazy. But, like, my friends look good. I look good. People that was born in 93, like my cousins and them, or people that we know, like mutual friends, and, like, people that I went to school with, like, they look good. Like, we look good. Like, come on now. Come on now. Stop playing with her. And it's Virgo season, okay? All the bosses, all the bad. Yeah. Virgos, period. But we ain't gonna talk about that. We ain't gonna get into all of that. Let me go up in here and Dillard's girl. Girl, they got the old women running out of Dillard's like somebody stealing. Anywho, let me go on Dillard's. I don't know if I'm gonna show y'all my feet or show y'all the shoe. I'm gonna show y'all the shoe, but I may not show y'all it on my feet because, girl, this is why this is a maintenance vlog, okay? The toes is not done. And my toes is not bad. I do, ne I do not ever, 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 ever let my toes like get super bad. But you know how like when they grow out, and the polish no longer close to the cuticle. It's like a little, yeah, it's a little away from the cuticle. And look at my eyelashes. Girl, I get my eyelashes in every two weeks. I really have been off the scene, y'all. I've been just like going to my people house and like having drinks and going to dinner with my sisters and stuff. But like off the scene, like, because your girl is caressed, okay? But yeah, this is why we're doing maintenance, honey. And then after my birthday pass, we just gonna get back to our weekly vid videos or videos, like two videos a week, however I see fit. But usually I do weekly videos. We're gonna get back to that after my birthday. But the content is back, so you won't have to worry about that for a long time now. And I just think, like, I wanna thank one of my subscribers. Like, she checked in on me. Like, she hit me up on one of my posts and was like, 
Uh, I think she said, I hope everything is okay, girly. Um, haven't seen you posted in a video in a while, something like that. And I was like, OMG, girl, you know who you are. Thank you. And my girl always in the comments. She always supports. She always watching my videos. She always showing love. And that just makes me feel and believe that I'm doing something right, you know. So I just really appreciate her for checking on me and all is well. And I pray that everything, just like I responded, everything is well with you and your family as well. And I really, really appreciate you for the bottom of my heart. And like just being like a loyal subscriber. And I just appreciate the fact of you just being like real caring and concerned about my well-being. And if everything's okay with me. And I'm just like, wow, like this YouTube stuff is crazy. Y'all, I only have like 1,400 like 1470 subscribers something like that and it's like the few people that are loyal to my channel and like comment and like like my stuff showing love and so when your channel grows and it's more and more people like that you know that you know you moving in your purpose and stuff like that and i just love that for me and i want to love that for everybody else too but like do you miss girl just do you honey because the girls are gonna always watch the girls are always gonna support and so what's for you gonna always be for you like you don't have to rush at first i was like i need to post a video i need to post a video i need to post a video and it's like if you post a video today or if you post a video three weeks from now and it take off what was the difference okay god is gonna work in mysterious ways and really take care of you no matter what so it's no rush just plan out your content and make sure that it is quality over quantity and yeah, we just gonna get into some things in this vlog though. I'm gonna try to make sure I'm more personable now that I'm back and like just talk more and make sure my vlogs are a little longer because I know the girls like longer vlogs. If y'all have any other video ideas, make sure you comment that. But yeah, girl, we about to go and deal it. So let's yeah. I want to order the shoe in I want to order the shoe in the champagne color and the white but they don't have the white and they don't have my size in champagne which is cool I'm going to order it online I just want to see which size I need I'm so high in heaven to see the difference this is the six and this is the six and a half so I think the six and a half will be a good a good look but y'all these shoes are so comfortable yeah I love these I'm gonna definitely get these A few moments later. I can not buy the put that in there. I just know her. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, go what up, Lee? <laughs> my that school got the cut. No, 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 no. What? What they got to do with anything when I'm done? Because that's tacky. Yes, you're done seasoning. Oh, yes, I'm done seasoning. So, y'all, oh, the tell them how many oh, they've been dropped you on. So, I'm like on four oh. or five. Who knows? But we got the fish. Not the, not the blanket and the fish. <laughs> Where your cup? Where your cup, sissy pop? Yeah. 
Lemon drop. Lady, it ain't a, a, a peas in lemon drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sugar didn't even stay on there. But it's good. It's a dirty stove. Yeah. <laughs> we matching. Yeah. Shut the bar yeah. down. Shut the bar down. Oh, oh girl. Shut you don't got no look at your bar. You don't got no look at your bar. <laughs> Hey, Miss Girl. So today is a new day. Well, today is about to be over. It's now Thursday, August 31st, 6.41 p.m. As you can see, I just left out the post office and these shoes, I thought they were going to be able to put it in them little, um, you know, like the little spots that have like they put the key in your p.o box and then you use your key to get it out i don't know what those things call but they're like the bigger boxes with the keys but i guess not because they left a um a paper in there and it's closed so what i'm gonna have to do is dang i'm gonna have to come get this saturday morning or maybe i could come on my lunch break tomorrow and get it but the thing is i don't know how long the line gonna be yeah i'm probably not gonna chance it i'm gonna probably just i'm gonna probably just come back saturday morning because i know the shoes fit like i tried the shoes on in dillard's and dang why well, i feel like some of my nose i felt um i mean i tried the shoes on in dillard's and i know it fits so i just ordered like you know the colors that i wanted and so maybe they all in the same box, but how it looks on Steve Madden's website. Oh, wait, no, this is the Dillard's package. Well, yeah, the Dillard's package is coming here. The Steve Madden shoes from Dillard's is coming to my P.O. box because that's what Dillard's had on file. I don't know. But my Steve, the shoes I ordered directly from Steve Madden is going to my house. But so that's only one pair of shoes. What kind of big box they didn't sit this in? But anywho, y'all, so I was supposed to get my lashes done today. And yeah, you can see your girl lashes not done today. My One of my close friends, she do my lashes and she hit me up and said she was sick. And so I was just basically telling her, like, it's cool. I'll try to get somebody else to do it. If not, you know, I'm going to just hit you up when I'm back in town um to do my lashes before my birthday because i'ma just have to take that ill because you know how like when people get sick because she hit me up hours later and was like she probably could still do a saturday but you know like when people sick i feel like the germs and the virus lingers like girl I ain't trying to be sick before my birthday i'ma let you fully recover and if i don't find nobody to do my lashes um i would just basically like i'll just get you to do them next week you know and so, you know, it's kind of hard to find somebody to do your lashes. It's Thursday. You know, it's Thursday. Friday and Saturday is all I have for somebody to do my lashes. And so, I leave Sunday. And so, the possibility of me getting my lashes done was real slim. And so, I was just like, man, like, but why not? Why not just try? And, y'all, I sat at, like, my office desk um, in my house because I still work from home um an hour like an hour and 15 minutes after i got up just thinking and writing in my journal you know feeling a little discouraged because it's like dang i don't know how to put on strip lashes and that's another thing i need to learn and i bought the little you know the little lash that don't have no glue it's like a bond i guess and you just i think it's by kiss i got that and i was like dang i need to practice that and practice how to do strips for things like this like lashes wouldn't be a problem if my friend can't do my lashes Versus me having to go find somebody else to do my lashes when she the one who always do it and I like how she do it. 
but anywho so i was like it's very it's a very slim chance that i'm gonna find somebody to be able to do it but you know some people are for squeezing so i started looking around girl the girls stopped doing lashes or something like we live in a small city like it's very it's like a handful of people that do lashes girl so you don't got many options and so but i hit a girl up on instagram and she has squeezings so she said she can be able to squeeze me in saturday at noon and i'm gonna have to reschedule my nail appointment because i don't know if two hours is enough time for the appointment that i made saturday at 10 a.m for the girl that i get to do my long uh nails to do like a full set in a matter of those two hours because it's at 10 so i'm thinking about maybe i'm gonna call tomorrow and push it to nine i think that's what i'm gonna do I'm going to move it to 9 because I think that's when the shop open. And I feel like 3 hours, 10, 10, 12, yeah, 3 hours is enough time for um for her to do that and for me to get my feet done. I feel like that's the perfect amount of time so I can get my nails done early, then get my lashes done. And I was supposed to get my hair done Saturday at 12.30, but my hairstylist asked me, can I come Friday after I get off of work? so yeah like it's just that i don't know if it's just me but y'all when it's time to go somewhere like get on a flight like not go nowhere like you about to drive a few hours from your hometown like for us we'll go to houston it's like it's not that it's like when i'm going somewhere like when i'm about to get on a flight just like my last maintenance vlog like something's always wrong girl like wait i don't i don't know what it is like is the devil busy my god like i was sitting there writing my journal y'all like just thinking like just really discouraged like it's my birthday like and i don't want to be like i could try to put on lashes but sometimes some things be like girl i don't got time to be fighting with it i don't got time for it i need this to be perfect actually not perfect you know i just want things to fall through even if it don't fall through as planned like get my lashes done today get my nails done after i got off of work tomorrow get my hat done saturday go to starbucks blah 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 even if it doesn't go as planned, as long as it falls through, you know, like I could work around it. So hopefully I still, hopefully I'm still able to get everything done. And hopefully like all the packages that I ordered uh, come in on time. And I didn't order a lot of clothes. What I ordered? Oh, I ordered some uh the camo cargoes from lo local European. You know, everybody say they like really good, really high quality. So they like $120, but I ordered it like Monday. And so, or Sunday, I don't know. But they said it was shipped. They said it should get here on time. I think that's the only thing I ordered. Uh, The game that we're going to, my boyfriend ordered us uh, matching shirts. That came in today, so that's cool. As long as those camo pants come in and my shoes come in because that's the only thing i ordered that's cool and from amazon i just ordered a new phone case that i've been wanting a bunch of content creator stuff like more content creator stuff because i want to do some short form content i ordered like uh the tripod for your phone and another tripod that mine's broke my like my light be dangling and then i'm gonna bring the other one for my camera uh, but I got the thing already that mount on the mirror. I just want to do like some content, being that I'm going to be out of town to post on Instagram and also vlog for YouTube. So Amazon is usually good with that. They say it should be here tomorrow because I chose the less package one for it to get here tomorrow. And so I think that'll fall through. It's just these pants that I'm more so worried about because I'm like, is it local European coming from Europe? Like. I don't know, girl, where y'all located at. But, yeah. And now I'm about to go to Walmart and uh, buy some dye because I'm about to water dye these uh, bundles black because they, like, brown. Like, ew. And I'm getting, like, a quick weave. I think I'm going to do side parts, something different. And I'm eventually, one of these days, go to the hair store and get, like, some uh, long clips and some, like, rollers but i think i got a small walmart list and i just feel like i'm missing something but right now i'm about to go to walmart and i'm about to go get the stuff that i have on my little list and i'm also about to go back home take out these braids and wash and blow dry my hair when i get in the shower so um i'm gonna take y'all along with me to do that and then 
but like I said, hopefully everything else fall through tomorrow and Saturday like it's supposed to. So I could just pack Saturday, just run and do a little shopping. Like, and it's Saturday, it's like gonna be well, it's supposed to be a chill day, but after I get my nails and lashes done, I want to do a little shopping here locally, like just to see if I could find some other stuff just because but if not it's not a big deal i'm gonna just go back home and pack what i have and yeah y'all who let me turn on the car girl i might i don't even know if y'all can see but girl i might start sweating girl even my own but yeah hopefully you know everything else fall in place and but i gotta come here early saturday girl because i think the post office right here closed at 12 on Saturday, so I'm gonna have to come here before anything. I need to make sure they open at eight. But yeah, let's go to Walmart. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. See, no one else, let me let you do. That's why I'm mine. Spend my life with you. I wanna please you in any way I can. I wanna share my world. Don't you understand? Your love is a one in a billion. It goes on and on. So I didn't bring my tripod in because I let me just carry it like this. But I usually um, keep my toiletry bag stopped. So that's why I feel like I don't need nothing. And my Walmart list like too tiny. Like, let's see what's on the list. It said I need emergency. Got emergency. Got my wash. Got the hair dye. And now I'm just trying to find extra stuff to get. Everybody probably do that when they go in the store. But I feel like I have everything. But if I discover, like when I start packing that I'm missing something, then I'ma just, you know, I'ma just come back. But for now, that's all I need. And then I just thought about it. I need a travel size body wash because i got the big gallon of dove dove deep moisture and i'm gonna bring that big thing okay y'all so they actually got the travel size dove deep moisture i didn't know that because i usually always just grab the olay but i always keep a dove bar soap too in my toiletry bag so it looks small but you really don't need much of the dove deep moisture because it lathers real good should I get a loofah? Yeah, because I don't like, I don't like using the, uh, the hotel towels like that. So I'm gonna get a loofah and then, what would that be? And then, like I said, I keep the bar of soap. So if I run out of that by any chance, and I'm only be out there for three days. If I run out of that by any chance, then I just use the bar of soap. Dang, they don't got the loofah I get. They only got this. I don't like it. I like to get the one that it's like exfoliating, like it look like a, a brown sponge. Let's look for that. I knew I was forgetting something. So, this is the Honey Pot uh, Feminine Wash. I love this stuff. Um, I used to get the sensitive, but y'all, for some reason, they correct me if I'm wrong. The sensitive pump always mess up every time, like every time, like it just be, I don't know. So I stopped buying it, but I'm like, should I give it one more shot? But then I'm like, no, I don't want to waste my time. This one seems cool. I don't see the orange color that I usually get, and I don't know what that one is. It says pH balance, minimizes odor, gentle, non irritating. And uh, this feminine wash, it used to be like 100% organic, but right now it just say plant derived. Pump three times, wash with clean hands, help support a healthy vaginal pH range. Aloe, organic, apple cider vinegar, and cucumber. I think I'm gonna get this one. I knew, see, I knew it was something I needed. I probably got a few pumps left, but um, if you... If you like to use a uh, feminine care, I would suggest this one or just plain water. But I like to um, hit the outside of my front side and my 
back side um, with this because I just don't want to use Dove down there. And water is cool, but you know, after that time of the month, it's cool to just, you know, freshen up with this. And that's just how I see it. But you know, water is cool. Keep using the water, but after that time of the month, if you want to, you know, just feel that extra clean, I think this is good versus using soap. So I won't throw up your pH, but if your vagina is okay with using, you know, your soap that you use to wash your body, cool. But if not, you've been struggling with that, maybe try this or just like I say, plain water. Um, now we're going to look for that loofah. Girl, I was just on the pass by. I thought they had the rose in here, girl. That's a makeup brush cover, girl. I was like, ooh, Walmart. Okay, y'all, so I found the one I used. This is the orange one I was talking about. It's just normal foam and wash. And um, they have lavender in it, organic, apple cider vinegar, and rose water. So I'm going to get this one since it's the normal one. And I'm going to put the cucumber aloe back. But if you use that one and you like it, let me know. Also, I wanted to get some wipes, but I wanted the individual wrap wipes. They only have this. And I'm not carrying no big pack of wipes in my bag. So, I'm going to just leave the wipes alone and just use my flushable wipes. Because those also say do not flush. So, girl, bye. And don't be using the baby wipes and flushing it down your toilet or in the public toilet y'all that can stop up your toilet like make sure the wipes you're getting says oh look flushable wipes and they also have the travel size flushable wipes so i usually bring uh a pack or two packs when i'm traveling of the uh travel size so i don't bring the big packs that i have at home but right now i'm in the beauty section and i'm gonna try to see if they got the loofah i'm looking for they don't have it. And last time I came in Walmart, I found it like by the beach towels. We're gonna go by there. They probably even have no beach towels, girl. They they got the Halloween stuff out. They probably got only fall stuff. And I want a new makeup bag, y'all, but I'm not gonna get it. So if you see um this video before my birthday, buy me a makeup bag, okay? Because your girl been having that small leopard print one that's been gifted to me by a great auntie for christmas one year a long time ago and it's the one i've been rocking with so small and i just want like some different compartments and stuff like that so yeah i'm definitely posting this video before my birthday so if you see this buy me a makeup bag for my birthday not all at once now or give me a gift card something girl i done came and found the beach towels y'all they don't sell they don't sell for like five dollars nine dollars two dollars and fifty cents three dollars and we don't have the extra large ones. We only have, I think have a large. So I'm going to get. They got this color. And they got this pink color. And then they got this blue color. I think I'm going to get the blue for him. Let me make sure this is extra large. Yeah, that's extra large as well. But I think I like this color for myself. Yeah, I'm going to get this color put this back so i think they didn't replace it with this it says this is um an exfoliating cloth and it has um a soft weave on one side and interior cloth on the other side so i think i'm gonna get this because in the inside it's like if you can see it's like smooth so i'm gonna get this i knew i was missing stuff i needed some liquid iv in a bucket hat oh this one says sugar free 21 dollars for what no, I ain't getting that. I don't know what that is. All right, so I think I'm going to try. This one say Concord Grape. I think I'm going to try this. So if I'm smacking y'all, this gum, I need to get rid of it. But I'm going to try this because I like to try a different one every time. And being that we're going to be drinking out there, I just want to make sure I'm prepared. And now being that they didn't have no bucket hats, this was all I got. I came in here with three things on my list. Only three things. One more acting like Target. We're gonna put this all in the same bathroom.
Now, y'all, while my hands were so ashy like that, oh my god, that is disgusting. And they didn't feel tight or dry. Like, I don't play them games. So, when I get out of the store, I like to sanitize. But I'm also about to put some lotion on, Miss Girl. I was like, dang, when I started scanning the stuff, like, girl, your hands is ashy. You didn't notice that before you went in the store? But this is the uh, sanitizer I use. Just some regular old Germex, and then I just keep the big one at home and just refill my travel size one that I keep in my purse. And this is the Sol uh, de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum or Boom Boom Cream. However you pronounce that. I just love how it smells. It does nothing for moisturizing and shine. Absolutely nothing. So what I'm about to do is, being that I love the way it smells, I'm a, uh, we don't have a Trader Joe's, so I'm going to go to Trader Joe's after I land and get the dupe. And, and put some, uh, and I'm gonna put some oil in it because they say it smells the same. And so I'm gonna put like some um, baby oil or some like shower gel in it and mix it in my little travel size. And hopefully that gives it the shine that I need. Or I could just mix some of my real lotion in there like half and half. I gotta do something, girl. Because that smells too good. And I love the size to fit in my purse, it even fit in my mini bags. Like, for, you know, a good travel size lotion. I love it. And I love the scent. Oof. But, yeah, y'all. So, now that I'm out of Walmart, I'm about to go home and take these braids out. And get in the shower and wash my hair. And then blow dry my hair. And so, I don't know if I feel like recording it. But, you know, y'all probably want to see that. So, I'm going to show y'all a little bit of it. And I was like, what I want to eat? Because I'm right by Chick-fil-A. But I want to get this done first, and then my Chick-fil-A will be cold. So I was like, well, I do have a frozen pizza in the freezer. So I'm going to probably just, ugh, and I can't, I really can't stand pizza. Like, I have to eat pizza, like, months apart, like, three months, four months apart. And I don't even remember the last time I had pizza. I'm really still trying to think like so oh I think I had a slice of pizza at my niece's birthday party at Miss Yeti's and that was in June so what is it now August so almost two two months well not almost two months it has been two months but yeah or did I eat a wing I don't know I probably had a pizza too but yeah, I'm going to eat it, but I don't want that. I'm going to just have to eat the frozen pizza because I don't know what else I want. And tomorrow, ooh, tomorrow after I get my hair done, I can come get Chick-fil-A. Because I'm not cooking. I'm not cooking. Being that we leaving Sunday, I'm not, I already cooked last night after I washed them dishes. I'm not trying to dirty no more dishes and I'm not trying to leave no leftovers in the fridge. So, last night was the last time I cooked. Tonight, fit for yourself. They got a frozen pizza. And tomorrow, I'm going to probably get Chick-fil-A. And Saturday, we're going to think about that when we get here. But let go. I done took that, um, that knot out in the bag. Y'all know how your stuff be tight and you might have them little bumps. Oh, I better not have no bumps. But I think I do. Then again, it feels smooth. It's just like it hurt. But I got this done um last Wednesday. And I'm taking them out now because like I said, my appointment was um pushed up to instead of Saturday is tomorrow. So I'm about to take these out. They was cute, though. I ain't gonna hold you. I might have to do the uh, six straight backs. Oh, uh, yeah, six. That's gonna be fire. Oh, should I do eight? Mm. 
you see doing in three or let me know let me know in the comments girl if i should do eight or six but i feel like this is my second time having a this is my second time having a bun with six. I think I'm going to do eight straight backs and a feedings, whatever they call it. And um, and then with my real hair, I think I did a video with my real hair when I did four with my braid on. But um, Martasia did add, she added some weave like at the bottom. Well, I don't know what she started. I think this is all like my real hair. And then she started probably right here adding uh, adding weave. But I really didn't need the weave part. It's just that it probably would have made a smaller bun. I'm going to just throw this on the floor. I'm not. And then I need to set up my iPad right here so I can watch. Oh, no. They got... uh. They got weaved throughout the whole thing. Because when I was in Dillard's trying on them shoes, that girl had asked me, like, how did it come out so thin? And I said, I think she used, um, I said, I think she used less braiding hair or started to the back. So now that I'm looking at it, y'all, okay, I think we in my real hair. So, about right here if you can see about right here she started adding um weave and i'm gonna show y'all how much this is what was in that um this piece let me see because you could still you could tell You could tell by how it's hooked. Okay, she added four pieces. So these look like really thin pieces. I'm assuming um, these really thin pieces. I'm assuming this was closer to the top. And then this probably was closer to the bottom being that it's more hair. So that's how she did that. If you like braid your own hair or want to do this on somebody else, and then this is my hair. And child, this stuff, oh my God. So I'm probably not going to blow dry my hair today. Oh my God, it's so much product, y'all. I think because being that I'm doing leave out tomorrow, I think I'm going to just wash my hair right now in the shower and then like wash my hair again on my lunch break. Then like you know how you wash, rinse, lather, repeat. Oh, what's the, what's the, uh, lather, rinse, and repeat. I'ma have to, y'all, this so caked up. Oh, and my hands are super sticky. Oh my God. I'm going to, oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to lather, rinse, and repeat tonight, and then I'm going to detangle and then probably put it in a top knot to go to sleep. And then I'm going to, uh, and then I'm going to, uh, yeah, tomorrow on my lunch break, I'm going to just wash, I'm going to get in the shower again and wash my hair and lather, rinse and repeat again. Wash lather. Oh, I think it's lather, rinse, and repeat. I don't know. Whatever they say on the little thing. And then I'm going to do it again tomorrow and then blow dry it. 
I think I got a meeting tomorrow too. I, I need to see. I'm going to see what time my meeting is tomorrow. Because I think my meeting is right after my lunch break. And now that I think about it, I don't want no blow dry do in my meeting. <sighs> so yeah, y'all. So um, and y'all see me blow dry my hair uh multiple times. Y'all have seen me blow dry my hair multiple times. Y'all know once I wash my hair, I use the uh, Cantu detangling spray to detangle. And then I spray it with that Herbal Essence uh, heat protectant that I have. Because I didn't buy a new heat protectant yet. And, um, and then I put a little Bio Silk and blow dry. I think it's my blow dry Connie or Revlon. I don't know. But I feel like on all my maintenance vlogs, I blow dry my hair. Like, why do girls don't wash your hair? The only time I get my hair washed is when I uh do my silk press. Now that I think about it. Because when you go get your hair done like in them other styles, it's extra for them to wash and blow dry. And girl, the wash and blow dry should be included because the style is already high, honey. I don't know, chill. That's just me. Like, if I did hair, y'all, like, people complain about the hair industry so much now. Like, if I did hair, like, I would want to work in a salon because I just think the customer service and the experience is the best part. Like, when I go to the shop and I get my hair uh, washed and blow-dried and, you know, um, steamed and treated, it just feels so good. Like, I feel so pretty. Like, even if my lash is not done, even if my nails not done, even if my makeup not done, I feel so pretty. Like, like just fresh do. I get that silk press and I get that trim okay but what i'm gonna do like after uh my birthday and after i take that quick weave out because at first for my birthday i was gonna do um i was gonna do two different styles but then i thought about it i'll be keeping a quick weave in for like a few days or a week and it's such a struggle to take it out so I just want to leave it in this time. I just want to leave it in this time for a little longer. And hopefully that helps. Like with me like sitting and soaking. With me sitting and soaking like in the um in the conditioning and glue remover. Like, I hope that helps, being that I'm going to try to keep it in a little longer since it's going to be a, uh, this is going to be like a, a, a style, you know? And then I could probably, like, if need be, I could probably just wash my leave out, put the hair in a ponytail, and then just wash, you know, the weave and style it. I could probably do that. Oh, yeah, I forgot um, my niece FaceTime me. I need to call her back. Let me call her back real quick. Child, she called me at 814. It's 851. Hey, my nan. Hey, TJ, why you didn't answer? Why I didn't answer? See, Jim didn't see you call. 
T Jam did see you call. My phone was in my uh was in my beauty room. And so when I seen you call, now I'm calling you back. What you doing? Snow sleeping. She talking about my boyfriend, Frenchie. Yeah. Oh, not hung up in my face. See, that's this stuff. Or maybe her iPad went dead. <laughs> Y'all, my niece is, she's four now and the funniest girl alive, honey. She gonna say, TJ, why you didn't answer? Ready to check something. I'm about to finish, take this out. And like I said, I already told y'all what's the plan of what I'm going to do. Uh, so y'all not going to see me blow dry this time because I'm not doing all that. So y'all going to, oh Lord, I got to steal water down the bundles. Okay. Let me pause right here and show y'all the bundles. Watch me going out of the way when I should have went home. Only time of the day I get to spend on my own. I was tripping off high. I used to sleep at your crib. Should drive out right where you live and pick you up on the way. We ain't spoken so long. Probably put me in the past. I could still get you wet and I could still make you laugh. You should call in the work if that ain't too much to ask. I could pour you up a drink or we could burn some. Okay, y'all so now that that's done you see me take out these braids this is so cakey sticky and white but yeah i'm about to get in the shower and wash my hair also oh i was supposed to show y'all the weave but my niece called me back she said tj my ipad went dead but i ordered these um bundles from Okay, sorry y'all, my iPad went dead, but I was saying that I got three bundles of 22 inch raw Indian um, body wave, and it's from GG Beauty Depot. Y'all look at this. I don't know if y'all can see this, but y'all, it's so soft, so full. I'm just trying to make sure you can see it real good. I'm going to turn it to the lighting. The quality is so good. And I just want to say thank you, girl, for my bundles. Like I said, this is 22-inch raw Indian body wave. Um, She also has Brazilian. And let me see. She have wigs and bundles, uh, like frontals. I think she have... Let me see. And she also have closures. Raw Indian Body Wave. I have three bundles of 22 inch. And I'm about to watercolor this black. with. And look how just bouncy. Oh my God. Thank you. I'm going to put her information. I'm going to put it right here on the screen. But if you can see this. yeah thank you girl and y'all shipping it came so fast so fast when i say um like maybe three days three days it was like um i spoke to her like on a weekend and by that tuesday i think i had my stuff so like i think she like said that she shipped it out on saturday and by tuesday i had my stuff or did she ship it same day I don't know y'all but it came so fast look and so the reason why i got indian instead of like brazilian is because of my hair texture i have really fine hair and i feel like i just have that silky hair texture and with the body wave i wanted something that i know can hold a curl and 22 inch i'm gonna get like martesia to cut it in layers but look how pretty look how pretty and thick like, come on now. Don't play with her. So once I watercolor this black, like I said, y'all seen the Revlon, um, yeah, the Revlon hair dye. So I'm going to like mix it and I'm going to put it in a tub of boiling water like a, um, I don't know, just like one of those storage tubs. I don't know what you call it, like what you would store food in, but a bigger one. 
and I'm gonna put the three bundles in there once I mix it and put it in a boiling hot water. I'm gonna mix it and put the three bundles in there and let it sit for 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna use probably the conditioner that's inside of the uh, hair dye. And then I'm gonna like rinse it out. And you know, you gotta make sure it's clear. I'm gonna just basically follow the instructions as if I was dyeing my real hair black. And I probably should have dyed my hair too. Cause my hair gives up that ugly brown color. Girl, I hope it ain't super brown because I don't, now that I think about it, I don't remember the last time I dyed my hair black and I love to dye my hair black. But yeah, y'all, so three 22 inch raw Indian body wave and I love it. It's going to hold a curl. You know, I got my, um, what's them things called? Dang, why I can't think of it. One moment. So it's called the T3, the best of the best. I got the set and it comes like with a smaller one, a medium size one and a larger one. And that's why I want to go to the head store and get some um the rollers, like the Velcro-ish like rollers. I don't know what you call them with the clips. So once I curl it, I can put it into like these rollers to where when I take them out, it's going to give me that blowout because I want her to do it like in layers. So, and that's why I said I'm going to keep my quick weave in longer. But yeah, y'all perfect i cannot wait so stay tuned like i said uh next time i come back it's gonna be at my hair appointment because look at this i don't know if y'all can tell on camera but y'all this is still like stitched and it's so thick and white and crusty so i'm gonna just wash it twice tonight in the shower and then i'm gonna wash it twice tomorrow before i blow dry it and then my hair appointment is at five, so I'll see y'all. Hey, Miss Girl, it's a new day. Now I'm at my hair appointment, y'all. I had to stop to the bank and get some cash. And I'm sitting outside waiting on my hairstylist to get here. Um, I'm super excited, y'all. I'm off for the next nine days. What today is, it's Friday, September 1st, yo. My birthday month, okay. I got seven days till my birthday, I'm super excited. Y'all, so why the local European uh tracking thing? I checked it today to see if like my pants was gonna get here today or tomorrow. Why the thing say delay, girl? And this is UPS. I paid for three to four day, um, what is that called? Delivery or whatever. I ordered it Saturday. It said it was shipped monday so let's say that it arrived to the warehouse tuesday let's just say that wednesday thursday friday saturday three to four business days but it's no reason why my stuff should be delayed if my stuff was shipped monday so let's say it was shipped monday and y'all receiving monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday still five that is is given time it's giving you had time and you dropped the ball. Matter of fact, let me check it again. Let's see. Because that's crazy. Well, to me, that's crazy. And maybe because it's a holiday. But I was like, let me go see. I feel like I paid. So maybe they had another option. I don't know. But I paid for UPS ground three to four business days. That's what I paid for. And like I said, I ordered Saturday, and it shows that it was shipped Monday. Girl, this stuff is saying it's not going to get to my house till Thursday, September 7th. Where in there is that given three to four business days? Because even if, like I said, it was mailed on Monday, that's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Girl, y'all just. So it's like they off or something. Because they gonna put the next progress update is expected by Tuesday, September 5th. What you mean progress? It should be progressing each and every day now. Child, and that's why I was supposed to what to the game. Now I'm going to be looking stupid. 
because I had my little look in my head and I got to revamp. But you know what? I was like, I'm going to send it back. I'm going to send it back. But then again, I'm going to most likely keep it. But it's like stuff like that just pissed me off. I want my money back. But I'm going to probably keep it because I'm going to probably keep it. Y'all, so today was payday for me. I just had to pay my tithes. Okay, she takes back. She uh, about to pull up. But um, I'm going to probably keep it because I feel like that's a staple. That's some good quality camo so I don't have to go through this again, you know. And then, like, the fall and when it's coming up, I feel like that's great. Fall and winter colors. Like, the camo pants. Like, that's, go, that's, like, super cute. Go with sweaters and things like that. So, But I don't know what bottoms I'm wearing. And I had a nerve enough to put some earrings on, girl. Because once my hair is done, I should be cute. I'm super excited because it's something new. Like, I don't, I don't even wear side part in my real hair. I always oh, in the middle part right now. But I say I always wear middle part. But, yeah, you see my hair is blow dried. And, y'all, so I left how my hair came out. Let me see. I'm not about to pull this out because I bought this all up in one thing. But I, I put all three bundles in one thing, girl. But, so I left it in the hot water. I left, I left the bundles in the hot water for like 15 minutes. And I was like, I feel like I leave it in my real hair longer than that. But that's what YouTube was saying with the wigs. I don't know if it was because of lace or whatever is on it. But... Girl, why the paper say when you put in your real hair, you you leave it in 25 minutes. So I feel like it's still, it's giving black, but it's not giving jet black. It's not, you know, but that's okay because, you know, the hair is, like I said, I don't remember the last time I dyed my hair, so it's giving a little brown. So that's okay. Hopefully it blends well. But going forward, when I dye, like when I'm going to reinstall this, like whenever, I'm going to freshly dye my hair and then I'm going to let it sit again. I'm going to dye it again. But watercolor for 25 minutes. I suggest just following the instructions. And I don't know why I didn't read the paper. But they probably do 15 minutes because it's a, a lace wig. But yeah, y'all. So once she arrived, I'm going to just check in with y'all um, when I'm getting my hair done. And um, I moved my nail appointment from 10 to 9 tomorrow. So I'm going to just wake up, get myself together. I'm going to go to the post office. Then I'm going to get Starbucks. And then I'm going to go get my nails done. Or should I get my nails done, then get Starbucks? No, because when I'm getting my eyebrows done, it's going to melt. My eyes going to melt. I'm going to think about it. But, um, so my nail appointment tomorrow at 9. And my eyelash appointment tomorrow at 12. So I'm going to get my nails done, my feet done. And, you know, it's your girl birthday, so I'm going to get the, them long things. I haven't got my nails long since. Um, since December when I went to Barbados and can you believe that I used to always get like it was no short nail it was like no bare nail no shellac uh, manicure overlay none of that I had straight long nails and that's why my thumbs keep breaking because they broke into my skin one time and they just grow like that they just break every time they grow so but yes y'all I'm going to show y'all inspo tomorrow. And I need a, a new, that's what I needed to get from Walmart. I needed to get a, like a little cheap glass. Because like, let me see if you can see. Dang, I don't know if y'all can see. But it's like so up, like around the edges. Like, okay. I don't like that. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to check in with y'all once I'm in.
I told her I look like I'm about to do a housewife confessional, honey. Like, it's so dressy for me, but I like it, and it's just something new. It's something new. It's like really full. The hair is really good and soft, and it curls well. She said that um, she thinks that the hair will hold a curl, so hopefully your girl can keep this up. But yeah. So now we need to get these lashes done, so let go. Hello. I have an appointment with Anna today. Okay, y'all, so I done made it to the nail shop, and this is the inspo, if it could focus. I'm not going to uh, do the pearls or the pointed nail, but... My girl Anna is gonna get me right. I think it's gonna come out super, super cute. Black girl, you 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 so my brother ripped around. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, my neck, my back, my neck, my back, oh my, oh my, my neck, my back, 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 Okay, y'all, so I'm about to get my lashes done. As you can see, girl, only a few is hanging for dear life. And I'm going to also link her, um, her Instagram on the screen so y'all can definitely come and get your lashes done. Also, check out her page. She have different... Um, you do like different services, right? Like yeah. um, facials. I was like, girl, I'm going to have to come give me a facial, honey, when I was looking on the page. Yeah, I do facials and body waxing. Oh, and body waxing as well. So y'all can definitely come check her out. And like I said, I'll put her stuff on the screen. I don't think about it too much, too much, too much, too much. There's no need for us to rush this through. Okay, y'all, so my uh, camera went dead, y'all, but she did so good. They're so pretty. I love it. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm here, <laughs> I'm going to post her Instagram. Like I said, I wish I could have recorded the process for y'all, but it's so pretty. And it definitely brings out the hair and the look. So, yes, yeah, stay tuned. Hey, y'all, and happy Saturday. So, as you can see, um today i went go get my nails done y'all 
I love my nails. And I showed y'all the inspo. But you know the girls got the clack clacks. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I'm still trying to get used to this curly hair. Like, I told my Instagram earlier, like, I wanted to straighten it. But y'all went, oh, yeah, my lashes. Super, super cute. I got the same. Now, my friend, my normal lash tech, um, like I said, I think I said it. She had got sick. So, um, she didn't do them, but um, uh, the girl that did them, she still did. Like, I told her I'd do, like, eight or nine in the inner corner, and then I go out to, like, 15 for, like, um, for, like, the cat I look. And so, I wanted to tell her, like, tell y'all what she was doing why my camera went dead in the process so you know my eyes closed or whatever i'm holding my camera and i'm like you know just tell me if i'm in the camera i'm gonna be turning it off and on i know where all my buttons at girl why the thing say no and i ain't pressing it i say what did it say she say battery exhausted i was a weak girl in the middle of the girl doing my lashes but like the little stragglers i had on she took them off and um and she uh, did a full set. It's like a volume set or whatever. Just so they can look full. And what else? So um, after my uh, camera went dead. I went home and I put it on a charger. Because I didn't open my Amazon package. With my um, other backup batteries in it yet. And so for a couple of hours I let it charge. And it's on 100%. Okay. And so I just did some other stuff, but I still didn't unbox like the shoes I ordered from like Steve Madden and the sandals. Um, I didn't order no clothes. The only clothes I ordered was those cargo camo pants that were supposed to come in from um, local European and it didn't. And I just, I tried on my shirt for the game that my boyfriend ordered us. And like, girl, oh, my stomach is growling, girl. I did not eat today. A lot been going on. But, um, but girl, like, none of the, like, cargo-ish stuff that I have really look right with that. But I'm about to go. I'm at the mall right now. Um, so I got to go in and get these dunks. And, um, first I got to try them on and see if they look cute on my feet. Because my boyfriend wanted to get them for me yesterday. And I was like, no, I got to try them on. So, if they look good on my feet, I'm going to get dead. And, uh, what else I got to do? Oh, I got to go to the hair store. I I want to get those rollers. Even though I don't like this, you know, like, curled look, I still want to get the rollers and, like, try it out. And I'm really thinking about straightening this hair, y'all. But uh, I'm going to go get that, the rollers, the clips, and I'm going to get, like, a little gold anklet. I think that's all I need from the hair store. I should have did a, I should have, uh, I should have made a hair store list. Dang, I didn't make a hair store list. I always make a list for everything. Ooh, I made a hair store list. It's under vacation list. Because under vacation list, I got all the stores I need to go to. And what I need to get from those stores. And the hair store is one of them. So I need to get like a gold anklet. Probably like two of them the rollers the silver clips and my brother keep bothering me about do rag so let me put that on there hold on my sister calling me yo at the mall i'm about to uh i'm about to go in and oh because i was on the phone with the rental car people when you called but um I'm about to go in there and get them panda dunks. Tell us that they got them in my size, but I gotta see if they look cute my feet first. <laughs> Why you laughing? It's connected to Boost Mobile, so slow. Don't go fast. What? My eyes are a little crossed right now. A little Boost Mobile right there, you see it? Oh, I thought you were talking about me. I was about to say, what? But y'all, um, what else about to say? So, I'm a, uh, I'm going to go inside the mall and then the hair store and then I'll catch up with y'all. Yo, what are you looking for? Pants. They don't have camo. So. This is a size 2. And 
Now I'm about to try on. Now I'm about to try on the um the zero. Because I feel like the two is a little loose and it's gonna be stretched. So I don't want it to stretch throughout the day. This is a different style. I think I like these better because they have like this little cargo thing here. And I think it would just go perfect with my shirt because I'm gonna put it over my shirt. But should I go dunk in the zero? I probably should go dunk in zero while I'm on it. Okay, y'all, this is the dunk in zero thing. So it's hours later. Your girl was at the mall. You know, I think that was the last time I was recording. I was at the mall, uh basically just like what was I doing? Oh, I was in American Eagle, yes. And I ended up buying them pants from American Eagle. Oh, actually, I was going to say, actually, I have it here, y'all. It's 9-21. I haven't started packing yet. But I basically, like, got stuff all over the place getting stuff together. But I bought these cute, really, really cute pants. It says they're the Dreamy Drape Super High Rise baggy wide leg and it's stretched i will size two i had to get this in a double zero y'all this stretch so much and it's so comfortable and i love that it's the super high rise because it's like you know when you want to top your shirt yeah like this the perfect fit like i said i got this in a double zero and it says stretch all over y'all it stretched so good it was it was 59.95 before tax but i love that it has you know these little pockets so i had to go get some pants since the camo pants wasn't coming in and girl i was so mad i was like once they come in i'm gonna return them but then i thought about it once they come in next week i'm not gonna return them because i feel like it's essential to have um camo pants in your wardrobe like especially with the fall and winter coming up but girl like and i wouldn't have been going through this if i had some camo pants i'd have been like ooh. Let me put on my camel pants, but still to keep it in like the green family, I went ahead and got these and I love this. And it's like wide leg and baggy. I may insert a video from Instagram or I may like take pictures. Hopefully I get good pictures, but I'm wearing this to the game. And with that being said, so after I left American Eagle, I was like, oh, um, I think that's what I was telling y'all before I went to the mall. That my boyfriend said that they had the panda, like the white and black dunks in Foot Locker. So while I get in there, it's one dude in there. And I'm like, um, I like to get the size 6 in the uh, white and black dunks. And he was like, we only got a size 10. And I'm like, oh, uh, my boyfriend just came in yesterday and they said they had a size 6. And so, he was like, nah, we ain't have a six in weeks. I said, he just came yesterday. Y'all just had a size six yesterday. He was like, oh, well, um, they must have sold it this morning because Saturdays are really busy. We only have a size 10. I was like, you sure? Let me call him. I was like, because maybe it was kids foot locker. Maybe it wasn't foot locker. So, I called him. He like, no, it's foot locker. And um, he was like, yeah, we only had a seven. And I I was like, what? I'm like, didn't you? I'm on the phone with my boyfriend. I'm like, didn't you buy a eight? Uh, what I asked him? I'm like, didn't you buy like an eight and a half or something like that yesterday? 
And he was like, yeah, I bought some shoes out of there yesterday. And I'm like, this dude talking about they ain't never had them sizes in like a week or more than that. And then he was like, nah. Uh, I was like, don't even worry about it. So I left. I'm pissed at this point. Because I'm going back and forth with you. I feel like good customer service is saying, let me look it up. Or uh, let me check in the back. You know, like just to double check. He, This man didn't check the computer. This man didn't check. I don't even know if he knew what shoe I was talking about. He didn't even say, what shoe? Like, I just said the white and black dunks. He don't know if I'm in low top, high top. He just, he just, it was just, he was just saying that. He didn't care. Like, I thought they work off commission. Maybe they don't. But I'm like, if I work off commission, I'm not going to talk myself out of a sale thinking I know something. You know, I'm a double check. But maybe they don't work off commission because homeboy didn't move. Okay? And he was the only one in the store. So I felt like he was like, you know, not trying to go look, like, just up the front, up in the front, like, so, when I tell my boyfriend this, he, like, tell him, pull it up, I'm, like, I'm leaving, I'm not worried about that, because I done walked out, and so, he was, like, you want me to go check at different stores, or you want me to go up there, I was, like, if you feel like you want to, you can go up there, so, my boyfriend went up there, my boyfriend called me, he's telling him the same thing, oh, we only got a size 10, I'm on the phone, I can hear him, we only got a size 10, oh, I sold a seven and a half earlier that was the last size or he was just saying he was like but they had all them different sizes yesterday he was still going back and forth with them and then i heard the guy say bro you want me to scan it or you want me to uh check it in the back he was like yeah uh scan the shoe and look it up and so he like oh they do got a six somebody came in here earlier for a six he was like yeah that's my girl came in here <laughs> like sir give me the shoes so my boyfriend ended up buying the shoes and y'all, they super, super cute, and they fit my uh, feet so well. And this is my first pair of dunks. Because I'm not paying no stock X price. If I can, can't get it for the original price, then, yeah. But I wear a 6 in women and a 4 boy. So, but this is a 6 in women. And I think it's so cute. I like that it's black and white because I feel like I can wear it with a bunch of other stuff. So, I'm supposed to be wearing this to the game. Oh, and I don't think I told y'all uh, what game we're going to. But, um, I'm going to show y'all the shirt. And we're going to our first MLB game. So, this is the shirt he ordered. Yes, we're going to a Dodgers game. And I'm going to wear, um, I'm going to wear the cargo, like, wide leg pants from American Eagle. These dunks, this shirt, and like my uh, black Kate Spade book set. I think it's going to be super girly, super cute. And I'm going to cut the shirt. I'm going to get my fiskers out of my sewing kit, girl. And I think I'm going to just cut it right here. I don't want to cut the whole shirt because I think it's like super, super cute. He ordered these from Zoomies. These are Mitchell, Mitchell and Ness. These are Mitchell and Ness um, World Series Dodger shirt. Love it. And these Mitchell... That, yeah, it was from Zoomies. And Real Mitchell and that girl from Zoomies. It was uh $37.95. This is in a size small for me. So I don't want to cut the shirt like all the way down. So I'm going to just fold it up. I'm going to definitely cover this up. But I'm going to fold it up like this. And you know like either tie it in the front or tie it in the back. Whatever looks super cute. Because we're going to have to get dressed in the car. Because we land at 10 uh, Pacific time and the game is at 1 15 and check-in is until 3 so we're gonna have to just change in the car or um in the bathroom so well I don't know girl but we're gonna figure it out but I'm gonna use my Fiskars and I'm thinking about just cutting it just to make it girly so since he's wearing the same shirt but then I just think it's so cute I don't want to cut it at all but being that he's wearing the same shirt I just want to make mine a little girly and I think I'ma just um I think I'ma just cut mine all the way down through here. Where it's like it stops right here. And so maybe it'll give it that V shape. And then I'm gonna either tie it in the front or the back. And my black uh K Spade book sack should tie in these shoes with the whole entire fit. So I just thought that was super cute. Thought it was cute. It it, it came together, girl. But I feel like the camo. Girl, the camo just would have set it off, honey. But, you know, that's why you got to make sure you buy these things 
for your wardrobe because you need, excuse me, you need those major things like brown jackets, black jackets, leather jackets, brown boots, black boots, camo, just um, white tees, tank tops, just all kind of things that's like major things that you can't find. You just need to have that sitting in a closet, girl, because when it comes to that season, it's so hard to find these things. Like, to find a long sleeve white shirt, like, why is that so hard to find, girl? But anywho, I'm just going to unbox um, a few things that came in the mail that I ordered um, with y'all. And I'm just not going to pack with, with y'all because, y'all, I am tired. I am so tired. Y'all see, I got my buying on. We still got to go to the liquor store because when we get out there, it's going to be Sunday. So, it's like, we ain't going to be able to buy no liquor on Sunday. So, we're going to uh, buy uh, probably a bottle or two out here and then pack it with us so we can have something to drink on Sunday. And I'll probably buy me some wine when we go to Trader Joe's or Walmart. I'll probably buy me some wine there. And, yeah, that's about it. So, I'm about to unbox this. And after we come back, like, from the liquor store, I'm going to shower and I'm going to pack. And the reason why I said I kind of really don't want to pack with y'all because I don't know what I'm wearing, y'all. And if y'all, if you know, you know, like, Cali, they talk about it's sunny, 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 but it be cold. Like, to us, like, the people down south, like, girl, 60, 65, that is cold. That is cold, especially at night. Like, oh, my God. And you be about the water. It's so cold. But um, this is a Telfar bag that I ordered. And I was like, why not unbox for the girls? Why not unbox for the girls? And this is my first mini Super cute. So it does say till for um, established 2005 NYC. Super cute. And I guess you can like unzip in this as well. And I love the dust bag. I love how it has like, it's like jean like if that makes sense. Super duper cute dust bag. And this is the color. This is my first mini. Oh, this is sticky. Oh, we got this on there. I could just, yeah, there we go. This is my first mini Telfeezy. A Telfeezy. A Telfeezy. Oh, I think it's so cute. And it's really, really white, y'all. I love it. I love it. So, I didn't get to buy the uh, white Steve Madden Hermes dupes because they said that it was um, going to be shipped like mid-September. So, I didn't get it. But the reason why I got this was to match that with the Steve Maddens. But I do have the Steve Madden white heels. So, that should look real cute with that. Let's find that in one of these boxes. I don't know. Well, once I get to that, the white one, then we're going to look back at this one to see if it's a look. But the strap is really long. But if you know Telfars, you can also um, wear it as a top handle, which would be this part, or a crossbody, which would be this part. And I love that it comes with this Velcro, um, I don't know what you call this, this Velcro thing that keeps it attached. Love it. Love it, honey, because you can always, you don't have to leave, you don't have to leave it long. You can always, you know, and this is cute too, a packet just like this. And that's how, like, my big tail for that I travel with, I can, like, fold it. But that one, being that it go through, like, the TSA check, checking, it be, like, all beat up and scratched up. But you can get, like, a magic eraser or some alcohol and just wipe it and the little marks go away. But I have the dust bag, and all I would do is just, like, put the straps inside or, like, um, fold it just like this and um, attach the straps back together and put it in the, um, the dust bag. I'm saying um a lot. Let's move on. Now, look at that. It came the very first try. So, these are the white Steve Maddens. I think these are called the Annie. Let me double check. 
you have the any and this is a six and a half like i said i usually wear a six in women but for steve madden's honey i always gotta go a half size up and it's like with every shoe super duper cute love her life and then i just put the tail far up and i was saying like when i get to that shoe i'm gonna show y'all very first shoe super cute this match perfectly yes honey yes honey i'm gonna have to take a picture okay y'all i just took some pictures with this for like super cute this is an aesthetic okay i love it and the nails i'm gonna keep showing y'all the nails giving honey okay i'm gonna keep showing y'all the nails miss girl but yeah, honey, we're going to put this in a dust bag because we packing that. And then we're going to just put these up until, you know, we get to like that part where I'm packing all the shoes because this is definitely coming with me. And I also need to try it on with one of the dresses I think I'm going to wear. Well, how does it go in here? Oh. But yeah, that was super cute. And I guess we can continue to just unbox shoes. Okay. This is called the Maven Black Leah. And y'all, I got these in a size 7. These are another pair of the Hermes dupes. Look how cute. Super duper cute. And I got white toes. So... We're going to see how this looks on my feet. Oh, yeah, the girl at the dealer store was right. Like I said, I wear a size 6. Y'all, as you can see, I got these shoes in a size 7. And let me see if y'all can see. That's how they look on my feet. They really, like, fit. And you can, like, tighten this and loosen this up. But, girl, they so pretty, though. They really so pretty. I love these. I want to get these in different colors. They have them in like, well, white was like gonna be gonna be um like if you order, they wasn't gonna be shipped right away. But I think this is like vegan leather. And they just feel so comfortable. I can't wait to see like how they feel when I walk in them. So I gotta find something that match these. Like, I don't know what I'm wearing, y'all, being that it's going to be chilly. Matter of fact, let's look at the weather update since I'm going to be out there tomorrow. Girl, it's going to rain. Girl, say, what's well, say 40, 40 and 30% from 7 to 9. I get out there at 10. <gasps> it's going to be so cold. But, girl, it's going to be in the 60s after 7. That's cold. Okay, anywho. I'm going to be freezing. See, I don't even know what to do, girl. I don't want to pull out a whole fall outfit, but it just be so cold. Is that the last pair of shoes? Oh, no, that's not the last pair of shoes. I ordered some more shoes. Oh, I ordered some more shoes and left them in my car. I was like, I went to the post office this morning. Well, yeah, y'all. So, the white shoes I showed y'all, I also have those in gold. And I think I showed y'all when I was in Dillard's how the gold looks. So, just know it's the same style shoe, the Annie shoe, but just in gold. And I also want to get the other Hermes dupe from Steve Madden. The one that looks like um what I just had, the Maven. It's called something else, but it's just a slip-on without the strap. Super, super cute. I want to get those in white and like the cognac color. What is this? Oh, this is a tripod. Okay, y'all. So, let me take this stuff out. So, this is what I ordered from Amazon. I ordered like a lot of content created equipment like that I didn't have. I have um a tripod that I have my phone on. I mean, my uh, camera on right now and my light on. But, girl, why that thing broke? It's like I be having to do it. It's like this what I be having to do for that, girl. This here, 
And so I wanted to replace that one. Like a while back, like um, I had left it at somebody's house and they said it fell. Uh, but I didn't realize it was broke until I got home. So I just been doing that ever since. But this is, okay, you warn me. And they make sure they put them warnings, girl, so they don't get them lawsuits. I see you, Miss Girl. All right, so this is like, um, this is like for your phone, I think. And look how cute and small it is. This can easily go in like my beach bag, um, or even like my um Telfar bag that I use as my personal bag. But I don't know how this works. It come with instructions. Cause I'm scared. Y'all talking about be careful. And it got all these things on it. What's this button for? See? That's why you gotta open stuff before you get out there looking crazy. I'm glad I did this because what if I was on the beach? <gasps> oh girl. And I'd have been struggling with this. It's like a selfie stick tripod for your phone. User manual. It got a Bluetooth remote. Micro USB charging. Oh, it's a push under here. That can't be all you do, honey. Because you ain't doing it. I'm scared it's going to shoot out somewhere. Alright, that ain't it. So, let's see what it says. Oh! Now I almost lost my stuff. What? Girl, this is the remote? Did y'all see that? It was like right here. And then I just popped it with my finger. Okay, let's see. What's the next step? So you have to take wait do you have to take the remote out to pull it and then with these long nails girl don't make it any better everything is just slipping out my hand okay 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 so you just pull it I was worried but the foam part go here that's why I was stretching like that so you just pull this out and then you, but what's this? Girl, girl, I done sat here struggling all this time playing with this. Let me find out. This like a, um, what's this called? Escape room. All right, let's try this again. So you just pull this out. You just pull it out, and you don't have to pull. Oh, girl. Man, I thought I broke my stuff. I think you just got to pull super hard. You can't be, like, scared. You just got to pull super hard, and then you got to push. You got to push this. It got to be an easier way. I need a tutorial, because I am really struggling with this. Okay. But I'm going to get it. I'm going to eventually get it. I'm going to watch some like YouTube videos. But y'all, this is the tripod. And um, or maybe do you. I'm going I'm to just figure out another day. But this is the tripod. And then I feel like it should be longer than this. No. This is. Oh, it is longer than this. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Okay, let's put it back down now. Okay, y'all, this part, and this is just for your phone. And it does go like this. And then, you know, you can, oh, you can even turn it like this. And it go like this. Okay. I like this. I like this. Just good instructions next time for the girls like me. A little slow. Okay. 
So we're gonna put this back in here because that's how I made. No, I'm not gonna travel with the box. May need to pack the instructions, girl. But oh, next up we have this um you busy tripod, and this is just a regular tripod, y'all. It's a regular old tripod. It comes with the adjustable for your um for your phone and also this part. This is for your camera. So this one is versatile. It ain't like the other one just for um your phone. And it's called a selfie stick tripod. And it says with the remote Bluetooth. And that little piece that come off, I think that's the remote Bluetooth. But this one also comes with the remote Bluetooth. And what else is in here? I don't know what this thing for. I never know what's that for, but it got to be for something. But yeah, that's all that is. I don't need to pull that out because we all know what a tripod is that has the phone and camera option with a Bluetooth camera by now. Okay. And for some reason, I think you have to charge this selfie stick thing because it definitely had a charger that fell out of there and next up we have another amazon package i don't even know what i be ordering from amazon y'all let me know if i should let me know if i should do an amazon storefront honey because the girls just be ordering whatever because like this here this is the um this is the little suction cup thing that goes on like a mirror. So like when I'm in a hotel room and like say I want to do a get ready with me, I can put my phone on this part and this part on the mirror and just like record myself. So, and you can do it like in different areas. Just, I think as long as it's a smooth surface, smooth surface, but yeah, so I'm bringing that with me too, but I've been had this. I don't know what this is. Like I said, I just be ordering stuff. Then it come with all these names. Oh, these are my backup chargers for my camera, y'all. So, it looks as if it has, like, you have to charge this up. And if you can see, it has two batteries. Oh. It has two batteries, a charger, and then I could put them in there. So, definitely bringing that. And I seen good reviews about it. They were saying that um it's just as good as the Sony. Now let me know if this is harmful to my camera or anything because I have no clue. I just read the reviews. People had good things to say about it. But I don't think it could be any harmful to my camera than how fast this battery died anyway. Because when I'm doing like sit down videos, it's not bad. But like when you're vlogging and you're out like all day, you need multiple batteries with these Sony cameras. Does not work. Oh, and I ordered this pretty um, case for my phone. Not me about to break a nail already. That hurt me. Oh, I thought it was going to be hard. But this is good that it's like this. It's like really flimsy, y'all. But this is how it looks. Let me see if y'all can see. Super duper cute. Silver. And it's like it's flimsy. It's not like when I seen it on... Um, on Amazon I thought it was gonna be like hard shell but that's good that it's like this because it may not you know scratch as easily but I'm gonna put my phone in it and that's what I was supposed to get from Walmart I was supposed to get a, a new screen protector like a cheap $10 one. Ooh, so pretty y'all so freaking pretty I love it hello yeah Mm hmm okay yeah and like i said the other box i had yeah that was the gold steve man heels and um in the local european uh camo pants didn't come in i think that was the only packages i had i'm trying to look at everything because i got the boxes i just threw boxes everywhere that's it for tonight um like i said we probably about to go Get some look at and may stop to walmart since we still have time or we'll just wait to go to walmart tomorrow 
and I'm going to take a shower and pack. So we should be leaving here about 4 in the morning because we're flying out of Houston instead of out of um, our hometown because we had a Southwest credit. And Southwest don't fly out, um, out, out of here. So, yeah, we needed to use that credit. And if you fly Southwest, your credits do not expire anymore. But we just wanted to use it anyway, and it came out way cheaper than flying out of um, our hometown. So we're going to go to Houston tomorrow. We're going to leave here about 4, and our flight leaves at 840. So we should definitely get there in more than enough time for us to uh, park at the parking spot, get on the shuttle, and get to our Southwest gate and check in with ease. Let's keep our fingers crossed. You know, God is good. Let's pray for our safety and no traffic, honey. Okay, so I'm going to catch up with y'all in the morning when we're headed to Houston. Good night. Okay, y'all, so we made it to Houston. We also, um, I'm not getting no breakfast. I'm not hungry, but... We sitting in Wendy's right now, and y'all, I took them flexi rides out, girl. I walked in with these. Let me see. I walked in with these orange flexi rides and my uh, bonnet on my head. Soon as we walked in, I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom, so I used it and took it out, but I ain't recorded because I was kind of rushing, but I was rushing for no reason because it's now 7:01 and we're on board till 18. So. Just chilling, and then I'm getting comb out these curls. I'm gonna let them fall, but I'm gonna brush them out. And we don't check in till three. I think we don't check in till three, so we're gonna have to find somewhere to change to put our clothes and to go to the MLB game. But I guess this is it for the maintenance vlog. I'm gonna just pick up. You know, on the way to, I mean, I'm going to just pick up when we get to L.A., like, when we pick up the rental and stuff like that. So, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you again soon for another video. Bye.